everybody, Paul Foster here with Secondhand Productions, and today we've got some D-Log footage from a DJI drone that was sent to us from uh, Lower State Washington's Lower Washington State. Yeah. So uh, what they've asked us to do is show them how to do a basic color correction on D-Log. Uh, as you know, then D-Log is basically flat profile, neutral, everything is so saturation, contrast and brightness is all zeroed out and the cool thing about it is we have all the metadata in the images uh, this is 4k footage and of the drone flight and it looks like the drone is kind of taken off out of their backyard and then uh, from there it's uh, we're going to cut down the quality of this just so that I can kind of step through this a little faster hopefully or not we shall see see what happens so yeah it turns and uh, then it just kind of flies off towards that body of water. Cool. So the nice part about this is we have so we have a we have a full range of the colors. So we've got we've got our uh, whites or blacks uh, pretty well represented in this image. And and doing a color correction on this is really easy. And then. Yeah, a lot of people confuse color correction and color grading. Color correction is what you do first, and then you do your your um, your your saturation, your hues, and uh, and then you can do a color grade. But uh, right now we're just going to show a color correction. I mean, it's really easy. I'm in Adobe Premiere, and I've got my Lumetri interface over here on the right. I've got my video present uh, preview pane in the middle. I'm going to switch that back to full. Um, I've got my playhead and my timeline down below. I've got an effects control here on the bottom right. Uh, I've got a search. I got my uh, explorer search plus my effects search on the bottom left. And then I've got my Lumetri scopes. Um, I think I'm going to add. Let's see, what is that one? Yeah. So this is my hue, uh, saturation. And Luma scale right here. So, but all right. So right out the gate, you can see that uh, we do have both all three: the reds, the greens, and the blues have uh, are blown out above the the 100 mark on the whites, and they're actually below the zeros on the blacks. And so there's there's a little bit of work to do here, but it's pretty easy. Um, the first thing you want to do is and. and you can line these guys up and you can set what you would consider your white balance uh, by manually adjusting these two temperature gauges under our basic connect correction. You can also, if you have a lookup table uh, for this specific device and someone has gone in and gone all the trouble to create a correction lookup for that device, uh, then you can load that here by so in here you can browse or you can select from a series of defaults. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to kind of manually do this because it's really not that hard. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to find myself a good spot in this footage. Let's see what we got here. Ah, there's a good spot right there where I can actually identify the whites. And it jumped on me. But that's okay. So I'm using this pole right here to identify what's white. Uh, if I go to 100% and uh, pull this down, I should be able to just make sure, absolutely sure I grabbed white. Um, and what that does is, what you can't see here is on our reds, greens, and blues, it basically, if they were staggered, it just brought them all to the same level so that we have true white so it set the temperature to 1.2 and the tint to negative 1.1 and it's as easy as a click so the next thing we got to do is we got to pull our blacks up and our whites down uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kinda like drop this thing down here so we can see this a little better because it's more important that we see the scopes than it is that we actually see the image at this point all right, so I'm going to grab, I'm going to bring our blacks up. I need to get them above zero. Then I'm going to take our whites and I'm going to pull them down until they're below 100. And, and you can use this, your Luma view right here. And you can see we're pretty right, we're pretty much right there. Now this, now to adjust the midtones, I'm going to bring my shadows down. 
and that's going to help from clipping on the see if, if the blacks go below zero then it clips and then you end up with hard kind of clipped out areas that don't blend very well and the same thing happens on the whites you go above the 100 and it kind of clips out the whites and it doesn't look too good so now what we're doing is we're kind of adjusting our mid ranges and we're pulling our our uh, shadows down and then we're going to take our highlights up and it's just going to adjust some things and we'll bring our contrast uh, which is going to and then our exposure yeah it's right there and then i'm going to bring my saturation i let's test that that's going to kind of spread it out a little bit now you can see that we're over here our hue and saturation we're kind of pulling pretty hard over in this area um, if i add that scope right there you could manually grab these and pull them in any direction you want to adjust this but that right there is pretty solid in my book so for a basic color correction the key here is just to make sure that red greens and blues are not clipping over 100 or under zero and it's that simple so now that we've got this, if I turn this off, you can definitely see the difference between having the color correction that I did and the before and after. And then if we turn it off, you're gonna see how this was really blown out on our hue and saturation. And then we were really pushing out on the yellows. And then when I turn it back on, we've brought it back in a little bit. We've pulled it back a little bit towards the blues and the greens, you know, whereas before, it was it was like pulling so I mean, you could grab this thing and you can you can play with all kinds of stuff so i'm just really tired right now see so y'all bear with me all right so we take off i've got this set to fit so you, you're getting this kind of like shutter effect um if i put it at even 25 percent that's a better look and let's see how it's looking i like the overall color and the layout i think that's a pretty solid correction you can adjust some things if you want. Um, things like the corner on this uh, camper, that was blown out. There's no information on that corner already. So there's not really a lot I can do about that. But see how it looks when we get over by the water. So far it's looking pretty solid. I like it. Let's see what this looks like. Heading out over the water. Let's get about 50% and see what that looks like. It looks pretty good it's pretty good it would seem that we'd have a little bit more room up here to go as far as honors but I wouldn't tempt it because when you get back and and you're over in this other area you know you you would if you made the adjustment here when you got back over by the the buildings and stuff then that would be blown out so there <coughs> excuse me there you go. Uh, so that's a very simple, simple color correction on uh, D-Log footage from a DJI drone. If you like this video, definitely hit the like, share, add it to a playlist, tell a friend, subscribe, hit that bell so you know when we're going to come out with something new. Uh, I'm a member of I am, am a Creator Community, so definitely show a lot of love and support there. If you, need to, if you want to reach out to us on Twitter, you can hit me up on Paul underscore SH. SHP. That is the Twitter handle. Until then, we will see you next time.